Hello and welcome to Hack 5 Hack Across America backstage. I'm really excited to show you guys how I am running my business while I run across North America. All thanks to the guys over at Citrix who hooked me up with all of their software. Check this out. So a lot of people have been asking about how I do my video blogs and I just shot one uh, here. I'm still building out the van. The latest and greatest is that I finally put the sink in. That's right. I am now Hack 5 the Darren Plumber. It'd be like Mario or something. So isn't this pretty cool? I got running water. So I just shot this video blog and basically I'm all about simplistic workflows. And so the way that this works for me is I literally just take my phone and I record with the front facing camera just like this. And I mean, okay, so yes, it's not the kind of like HD stuff with the lighting and the everything that we're used to in studio, but what's important is that I'm able to anywhere, when the moment strikes me, when something cool is happening, just pull out my phone and honestly, the cameras on these things have gotten so great over the years. The first hack across America, I used what, a Motorola Droid. It was so god awful. Um, but now, uh, just with this Galaxy Note 2, I just record with the front facing. Uh, and then when I've finished, this is the best part because I am a little bit of a stickler when it comes to quality. Yes, I'll do the handheld video blog on my phone, but it can't just end there. I have to at least have an open and, and slate title. And so here's the thing. Once I've recorded my video blog, this latest one, I got, uh, I got all this goodness in there. This is so cool. I'm pretty proud of this. I've got my uh, fresh water and my, um, uh, my gray water there, and it's all hooked up 12 volts to this. And this is a potentiometer on this sink here. So then when I rotate this, I get water and then it just flows back down. So great. So I do that little video blog stuff and then check this out. So I've got this file and what I do is I rename this, right? So rename to kitchen's sink, you know, cause, cause I'm Darren Kitchen and it's a sink. Okay. So the reason that I renamed the file is that the file name will become the name of the video blog when it goes to YouTube. Now, how does it get to YouTube with that cool like intro graphic and outro? Cause I am a stickler for quality. Well, this is pretty cool. Get this. So I just hold down just like on Android with the regular intentions and hit share. And the intention that I use is share file. This is pretty cool stuff. It allows me to quickly and easily get this file up there without having to worry about like FTP resumes or it being too big uh, for a file attachment. And since I don't want to go straight up to YouTube, I want to go to my server, which is going to add those graphics to the head and the tail and publish it out to YouTube, publish it out to Twitter and Google Plus and put it on the Hack5 blog. Uh, I'm going to use share file here. And basically I choose my destination and this is pretty cool. I've set up all of these different watch folders that have different uh, uh, presets. So I go into my email and then I have the Darren Kitchen blog watch folder. I've got my default watch folder and I hit upload and then boom, I'm uploading. So if I come down here and just pull this down, I now get a little progress bar so I can watch as that video file uploads. I also use a really nifty application here to uh, kind of get a sense of the transfer speed and uh, it's called network speed and basically I can see this red line here I'm getting 136 kilobytes a second up I'm on a 3G connection here and then I can see my downloads and everything else here it shows me on CDMA and you know the link quality because I don't know I geek out I love that kind of stuff but what I what I mostly love is that I don't have to worry about this file getting there as soon as I hit share I just what record rename share it's done I know in a couple of hours, it'll be processed on YouTube, on all of the social networks. So it's all about simplicity of workflow or I'm not gonna do it. I'm talking about simplicity of workflow. Let me guys tell you about ShareFile. If you're in a business and you need to share a file securely, this might be the perfect solution for you. Let me tell you a little story about when I was a systems administrator in DC. I, uh, oh my gosh, this person, this person would email confidential data in a zip file with a password. Okay, but then they would follow up with another email with the password. That's not secure. We've been talking about PGP on uh, Hack5 the last couple of weeks. And you guys know as, as much as I do, it's really great, except 
it doesn't have the kind of penetration and it doesn't have that simplicity of workflow. It's convenience, you know, because if it's not convenient, people aren't gonna use it. This is convenient. Share file is so easy to use. Any file size, you can get your file out there and share that link, that secure link, and here's the best part. You get to know who and when the person read the file. So you're like, you know, if somebody's slacking or if they've actually met that checkpoint and they're doing their job. It's so great. Um, and so this might be a perfect solution for you guys' businesses. So I thought uh, I would throw that out there because it's what I'm using to run my business as I run all across North America. And so we're gonna continue doing these uh, Hack 5, Hack Across America backstage, kind of give you an idea of how I'm making all of this happen. And I wanna once again thank the good guys over at ShareFile for hooking me up with all these applications that allow me to have this freedom to run around and, uh, and do my job without all of the hassle. So if you guys are interested in this, you can find a 30 day free trial over at sharefile.com. All you have to do is click on the microphone at the very top and use the coupon code HAK5. That's gonna give you that hookup. And uh, yeah, thanks again for making Hack Across America happen.